a Husky of leash. For many owners, that's a challenge. And with reason. The Husky is known for his running off, his prey drive and for being a non-obedient dog with bananas in his ears. I bet 80% of the Huskies worldwide are never off leash. And that's a pity, especially in an area like this. So in this video I'm going to provide you with some tricks that might help you to set your husky free and above all to get him back again. Welcome to my channel Han Verdi Husky and RV. Now let me introduce to you the real stars of this video. This is Ziva, an 8 year old female rescue husky that came to live with us when she was 6. And before that she had never been off leash. Come here. Okay. Come here. I want you. And this Good is time. Dyson. Good. Yes indeed, Good. like the vacuum cleaner. He's a white male husky, he's pretty trainable still rather fast and still doing his zoomies. Although he's nearly 12 years old now. Dyson was a rescue dog too. He came to live with us when he was one year old. And he most certainly is the love of my life. Now my daughter and I take our dogs all over Europe in our big RV bus. So if you're interested, just check the other videos in my channel. Now back to our theme to set our husky free and a trick to get him back. In this video I'm going to skip all the stuff about indoor training and long lines, assuming we all know that drill. First a few tips. Tip 1 is pretty obvious. Wherever you start training, make sure there are no cats, no ducks, no chickens, no rabbits and no sheep. Because you will certainly lose the attention of your husky and the other animals may not survive. Tip number two is about where to go for off leash training. A dog park can be an option because it has a fence and therefore it's a controlled area. But in a dog park there usually are dogs. And then it is anything but a controlled area. The interaction between dogs makes it a very complicated situation. Far too complicated and distracting for your dog to start learning anything. In a situation like that, off leash training is just very hard work, no fun and probably no success for you and your husky. I will get back to you on that fun and success part in a bit. So if you go to a dog park for off leash training, make sure it is empty or just wait until it is. And even then it's hard to keep your dog's attention. Dyson, come here. For there are a lot of interesting smells there. And another dog may come in at any moment. And believe me, they know. And that frustrates your success, which is actually your best and most important tool. So I prefer to take them to a better area. Which in our case is some sort of island, where they can run and be free, but not run off. Now let's see whether Ziva will respond to my command. Ziva, come on! Now doesn't that look like a success? Good so, good so, yeah. Let me show you another one. Ziva, come on here. And there she comes running again. Good girl. Is that a trick? Well, to be honest, yes it is. And it's a very easy one. I named it the success trick and I think it's one of the best off leash training tools. To fully understand it, we will have to go back to the moment just before I called her. Now watch her doing nothing important. She's even a little bored. Already walking towards me? This is the moment. Viva, come was here. And there she comes, one happy dog obeying my command. And the success is all about timing. Good girl. Good so. 
And now a closer look at that first situation. Okay, I've got her attention again. Siva, come on! Ah, oh, running again. Good so. As you can see, it's the Good same so. drill. Waiting for the right moment makes a happy dog and a happy owner. It's all about timing. Dyson, come here. Yeah. I have to correct that. Two happy dogs. Good so. Good so. Sit. Now you might say this won't be a success in every situation. Ooh. Go. Hey. And that's right. But also beside the point. Because the point of this trick is, if success is your goal, use it as your tool. So choose your battles, make sure that whenever you use this tool, you're about 90% certain it will be successful. Let me show you. You just saw my dogs take off to this very, very interesting bunch of trees. And they are busy. If in this complex situation I command them to come to me, and they are relatively new to that command. My chance of success is about what? 20%? 30% maybe? With at least 70% chance of frustration and no fun. So I just don't. I let them do their thing, patiently waiting for the right moment. Which is, when they lose their interest in the trees, get a little bored, and eventually come out themselves. Siva, come here. Come here. That was the moment. Good so. And the Good thing so. is, you can repeat this as often as you like. Siva, come here. Come here. Siva, come here. Come here. Come here. Siva, come here. Come here. Come I've had seven rescue husky dogs so far and used this tool with all of them on a daily basis. And with each and every one of them, it was just a matter of time before the success started to expand to more complex situations. Siva, come here. And even far more distracting situations. Come here, Siva, Siva, come here, come, come on. So summarizing, find yourself a controlled area, set your husky free. Wait patiently for the right moments. Siva. Come here. Which is all about the 90% success timing. Repeat on a daily basis and make it fun. <laughs> hey, Hunter. <laughs> and then I'm sure you can too trick yourself into your best husky off leash hikes ever. Do you think it will work for you? Let me know in the description below. And push that subscribe button if you like. Hope to see you in my next bus or husky video. Bye!